Welcome back to the Creation Station. It's your boy A Dub, and today we are looking at my latest Lego build, Buzz Lightyear's XL15 Starship from the new movie Lightyear. I did see the movie. I will give a little bit of my review from the movie as well as we walk through this Lego build. I love the detail that was placed on the ship. There were a lot of stickers and stickers are not normally my friend when I'm building Legos, but I was able to put them on pretty straight. My favorite thing overall about the build is the stand. The stand is really cool and it has details about the XL15, actually the ship. Um, it talks about the fuel that's used, the crystallic fusion. And then I also just like the fact that when you have it on the stand, the, the ship looks like it's in motion. It looks like it's kind of leaning. It's kind of flying forward. It has a lot of elements of speed with the wings tips and then the wings being kind of locked into this downward position. Beep, 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 beep. Looking at a few other things, you got the turbo boosters on the back. They actually spin and then there's detail inside of them. You can see little yellow pieces that looks like almost like flames or something like that. We have our fins that mark the XL15. Um, then we have a little bit more XL15 branding on the side. The wings have that red and white hazard logo, um, if you will, type of print. Uh, which is really awesome because that's significant um, to Buzz Lightyear and his original box that we saw him in. The set does come with four mini figures, which is really awesome. I think that that's a pretty cool value for that. We have Mo over here with his harpoon, Darby with a rocket launcher. I don't know if I should be specific with that one. Of course, Buzz Lightyear in his XL15 spacesuit, helmet and visor with a little bit of a little gun. And then also um, he has his fuel cell with him. He becomes a part of the movie. They're trying to kind of create crystallic fusion by using the fuel and the, and the resources that are on this planet. Um, so we also have socks here and he's on his computer. He's working on his computer. He's working on the formula. There is a hatch in the back of here where you actually can put the fuel cell into the hatch, put it in there so that that way when it's time to blast off, boom, you're ready to blast off. Um, of course, I think that's really cool. Just a little detail, you know, that you can actually put the fuel in there. Of course, you have the cockpit that opens up. Buzz himself can ride in the cockpit. Also, a lot of great details on the inside of the cockpit. There's actually like a yoke for him to, to use to steer. And then there's actually an Ivan, which is an internal voice activated navigation. Um, but it's basically autopilot. And that also is kind of a running gag throughout the movie about how Buzz Lightyear feels about autopilot at any given time. So um, I love that type of detailing. It's really cool that after you see the movie, a lot more things make sense in terms of, you know, a why and actually how detailed uh, this is. So, and you can easily bring it off of the stand itself. You wanna fly it. Come in, Star Command, do you read me? It looks dope, it looks really cool. Also, the stand itself has a nice um, long peg on it. And then there's a spot in the bottom of it that that peg drops right into, boom. So it's nice and sturdy when it does go on there. So it's not feeling like it's gonna fall. And also, like I said, the fact that it leans, it gives it that, that motion, as you can see, like it's really, socks, did I miss anything? Okay, I don't think, I think that's a no. Um, the build itself was a lot of fun. Everything kind of made sense, but the way that they made it rounded and the way that they kind of paneled everything off really turned out to be cool. If you see too, there were some specialized pieces that were used and it gives it that like feeling of there's air almost coming through or there's like pockets where it would be almost more aerodynamic, if, if that makes sense. Even looking at the back, there's a lot of vents. Like I said, there's that port that you can open. And when you open that, you can kind of see almost all the way through the cockpit. Um, and then these, these vents as well in the back, it, it has the yellow pieces in there giving it the, the appearance of like flame almost in there, or combustion going on with the fuel. Really detailed and not that hard to build. Only 497 pieces. It took me a little over an hour to build it, but I was kind of taking breaks in between. And you know how I am. I'm kind of silly. I'll go back and forth. I get distracted really easily. Um, even just making these mini figures stand while they were holding their big guns was, was really hard. So, oh yeah, I forgot about that. There is a spot in the top here. So this top hatch opens as well. And the top hatch, you can actually drop down um, Sox's computer in there. And so you can put the fuel cell, you can put Sox and his computer um, right in there using the hatch. I forgot, I almost forgot about that top hatch. So we have the top and the back hatch back for the fuel cell top part for socks and his computer so everybody can fit but yes he fits in there comfortably with his space helmet and visor 
so that when it's time to rhyme, boom, we got our pilot. All in all, great build. The movie itself, I really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was fun. I like what they did. I won't give spoilers like I said, but I had a feeling that Zerg was maybe somebody we've seen before. One of the things I did like in this movie, Lightyear, is the fact that everybody kind of made mistakes and had a chance to um, own up to those mistakes, um, get over those mistakes. Or the fact that you kind of have to course correct sometimes. Yes, you still want to finish the mission, but how, why, what is the ultimate goal, um, you know, still has to stay in mind. So I really like the movie though. Good stuff. It was an origin story though. The only thing I'll say kind of negative is it was an origin story for Buzz, but at the beginning of the movie, he was still already Buzz Lightyear. So throughout the movie, we did learn a little bit of some of the things that he went through, but we still didn't really learn how he became a space ranger and how he got to the top of his class like that. At the beginning of the movie, he's already Buzz Lightyear. He's already pretty badass. Um, I, I like the way that it went because it still showed that even though he was Buzz Lightyear and he was a great um, you know, person for Star Command, he still had things to learn too. For the things I've made for the channel so far, this might've been my favorite experience. I had a lot of interesting and like unique pieces that were just for this and the end result is just really cool. So I know I have lots of cool Legos and lots of cool Legos still left to build, um, but this one right now is super enjoyable and especially in conjunction with being able to go see the movie and enjoy that. So I do think too, one other thing I wanted to say about the movie is Socks stole the show. Something from the movie that gave me an inspiration for a new YouTube video idea too. So I'm hoping to make myself a custom uh, version of Socks very soon. Okay, other quick toy updates. I was able to get the rest of the Hot Wheels uh, Starships. So I did get the XL15, the XL1, and Zerg's fighter ship. I do have to say that Zerg has the best technology out of all of the uh, characters for sure in the movie. His stuff is really dope, so I was glad to get his Zerg ship because that thing was dope. So I was able to complete that set. And the other thing is, um, it's official now, Lightyear has hit McDonald's and the Happy Meal toys. So I am trying to collect these. I do have a few so far. Okay, so I have Mo so far in the XL7, Buzz Lightyear in the XL01. The last one I have is Izzy in the Armadillo. So there are eight total. I have three so far, but I do definitely want to get the full set. Um, some of the McDonald's will just sell them to you, which is really cool. Other ones you have to buy a Happy Meal. So a lot of chicken nuggets coming my way. Extra fries, no apple slices. The box itself has socks on here over here, which is pretty cool and like some little games that you can play. My plan is to get a full set that I can keep in the bag and then a full set that I can put the stickers on and show you. So come back soon. Um, I'll probably just put that up as a short. One last thing, actually, I'm sorry. The other, other merch update, update is when I did see the movie, I did get this poster. Pretty cool. I went to the Andy experience um, at AMC. They kind of let me down though. I'm not gonna lie. We had a bunch of people with us and they were like, oh, there's only one poster per group. They were like hogging the posters, which I'm like, to me, that's included in the ticket price. You better give us more posters. Thanks AMC anyways for bringing us out. I think that's about it. We'll end it there. Look forward to getting the rest of the Happy Meal toys. That should be cool. I look forward to maybe making my own custom socks. If you've seen the movie already, let me know what you thought of it. Um, let me know your rating. For me, I'm giving it a seven out of eight. I really enjoyed it. A few nitpicky things for me, nothing, nothing too major though. I think Pixar did a great job as always. So until next time, I do say thank you for hanging out with me at the Creation Station. Stick around for more light year stuff. Also Thor's coming soon, more Lego builds, and I'm getting some travel in. So um, yeah, holler at your boy. A-Dub out.